Hi guys, for today's cooking vlog, I'm going to show you how to make homemade baguette. A baguette, also known as fresh loaf or French bread, uses very simple four main ingredients. Flour, water, yeast, and salt. Baguette is my choice of bread for tapas, any types of sandwiches, and my favorite go-to bread for my tomato bruschetta with mozzarella and ricotta cheese recipe. If you haven't seen it yet, click the link in the description box to watch the full video. But right now, I'm gonna give you guys a simple, easy to follow baking procedure so that you too can make a delicious baguette in the comfort of your own kitchen. So, let's get started. Good morning, I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. Three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One and a half cups of warm water. One and a half teaspoon of active dry yeast. A teaspoon of sugar. Two teaspoons of salt. And a little bit of olive oil. Preheat the oven to 50 degrees Celsius. Add the sugar into the warm water and stir until the sugar is completely dissolved. Add the yeast and stir. Set aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. When the yeast is activated, it will appear to be foamy. But if it doesn't happen, it means that your yeast is expired, so you're gonna have to get some fresh ones and start all over. Mix the salt into the flour. Pour the yeast mixture into the flour. Mix on a medium-low speed for about 5 minutes. The dough will be very sticky, and that is exactly the consistency we're looking for. Brush some olive oil in a large bowl. Transfer the dough into the bowl. Cover it with a plastic wrap and a clean kitchen cloth. Place the bowl in the oven and let it rise for about an hour or until the dough has doubled in size. When the dough has risen, generously flour a clean workspace. Use a floured spatula and transfer the dough on your workspace. Sprinkle the top with some more flour and using a scraper, knead the dough for about 2 minutes. Use the right amount of flour. Don't add too much. We don't want a heavy and hard dough. We want the dough to be real nice and supple. Divide the dough into three equal pieces, then form each piece into a rope shape. If you have a baguette tray, fantastic! If you don't have it, you can follow the simple trick to form a perfect loaf. Place each dough on a well-floured cush. This will help keep the shape of the dough while proving. Bring the outside edge up and over, then cover. Let them rise for an hour or until they have doubled in size. When they have risen, use a flipping board and carefully transfer each dough on the baking sheet with parchment paper. I'm using an improvised baguette flipping board made of cardboard sheet and aluminum foil. This is a perfect alternative for a professional baguette transfer peel. Preheat the oven to 250 degrees Celsius. Place a deep baking pan on the lowest level of the oven. We want the oven real nice and hot. Use a blade or a sharp knife to slash the dough. This will allow the bread to expand during baking. Place the baking sheet on the top shelf, then quickly add a cup of water onto the deep baking pan and close the oven immediately. Bake for about 15 minutes. Then cover the top with aluminum foil to prevent the bread from overbrowning. Bake for another 5 to 7 minutes or until crispy and perfectly golden brown. When done, let them cool for a bit before cutting. My version of homemade baguette smells amazing. It has a crisp and toasty crust. It has a soft interior with a slightly salty taste, perfect when smeared with butter. I don't know about you, but I love a warm baguette. I love to savor them, especially when they're straight out of the oven. If you are inexperienced in the kitchen or in baking, remember, practice makes you better. So don't expect perfection for the first time. Mm. 
The more you bake, the more you practice, the better the baguette you'll make. If you're a bread lover like me, I have a variety of bread recipe on my channel. If you're looking for the easiest and the fastest bread recipe, check out my homemade soda bread. My homemade banana bread is a top notch. And if you're looking for something healthy, try my homemade rustic whole wheat bread. What about you? What is your favorite bread? Leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. That is it, you guys. As always, enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more delicious recipes, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. As always, I would love to hear any feedback from you guys. Thank you for your support and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!